Hey everyone and welcome to Garden Basics. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, the cold hardiness zone. So in front of me here I have a map of Canada and the US. I believe this is a US rated map. Uh, so if you're up in Canada like I am, you're going to want to check and see what the Canadian government has to say about the ratings as they do vary. Um, I just wanted to have a map of North America as it's going to be easier to explain rather than having two individual maps. So what a cold hardiness rating is, or what a zone rating is, is the minimum temperatures of that zone. And plants are going to be divided into these zones depending on their cold tolerance. So um, say a zone 7 plant, which is fairly warm somewhere around this region here, is not going to be able to survive a zone 5 somewhere up around here during the winter months as it's just too cold. So you want to be mindful of that when you're buying your plants. You definitely don't want to be buying um, warmer plants uh, in a colder zone unless you plan on keeping them inside. Um, so like I said, I'm here in Toronto, which uh, on this map I believe is a zone 4 rating, but uh, the Canadian government uh, in reality has it, I think, at a zone 5B. And um, you might be wondering, well, what's the B stand for? Um, there's actually A and B denotions, and the A denotion is just going to be slightly colder than the B. Now, it's a nominal difference, so I wouldn't get too concerned about it. If you're a zone 5A, you can definitely buy a zone 5B and you know odds are it'll be just fine right it's only a few degrees difference so don't pay uh, too much mind to it um, but like I said you definitely want to buy the plants which are suitable for your zones so I have a couple of hibiscus plants and a hibiscus tree would love warm weather so somewhere around these areas of the southern United States, I believe seven through nine, is where it would flourish the best. But like I said, I'm up here in a zone five, and um, if I were to plant it outside, odds are it would die over the winter months. It's just too cold, and tropical plants hate the cold. So what I've done is I've kept it in a pot, and I'm going to bring it inside during the winter, where I'm going to have it about you know 75 degrees Fahrenheit in my house, and just hope that it survives, and then. You know, during the spring and summer, I'll leave it outside where it's been uh, right now, and it's doing quite well. So keep that in mind. You can buy um, plants that are not suitable for your zone as long as you um, properly pot them and keep them in an area where they'll flourish. So the you know sunny spot, uh, getting a lot of warmth. You can plant them in the ground, but just don't expect them to come back. Um, and yeah, that's essentially what the cold hardiness uh, zone is. I hope this was helpful and uh, good luck. Thanks for watching Garden Basics.